Hey guys, Halfway Dead here with a Bacchus Mod plugin showcase. Last week I spent a lot of time testing input lag things. I got new controllers like the Switch controller and I'm testing the NVIDIA ultra low input lag setting. And I am done with the testing but I'm not done with that video. So that's gonna come on the weekend. And I thought I might as well make another video right now because this doesn't take too much work. So what I'm gonna show you is the Boost Recharge plugin because I think it's underrated. And yeah, I'm saying that knowing that I created the plugin, but I'm not saying it's underrated because I created it. I'm saying that because I actually have four plugins on the website and this is the least downloaded one, even though I actually think it's the most useful for most people. So um, yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory, but I'm gonna go through all the details and everything you could wanna know about it. First thing, how to install. We already went over this in the last video, so if you don't know how to do that, you can take a look at that. And I also talked about a couple of new features in Barkus Mod. But anyway, all you have to do is click on Install with Plugin Manager, and it's gonna work automatically. Or even easier, in this case, is you open Barkus Mod, press F6 to open the console, and type BPM install, and then just the number eight because that's the number for the plugin and now it's already installed so what I can do now is go into free play press F2 to open the Bacchus mod user interface go to plugins and you will find there is boost recharge plugin and I can turn it on right here and now I no longer have unlimited boost but my boost constantly recharges and the settings are quite simple you have a recharge amount and this is just the number of boosts you want to get in the percent and then you have the recharge interval which is in seconds so right now every 0.5 seconds this is giving me three additional boosts so if i just drive around like this i can play like normally i can pick up boost and everything it's just going to give me some extra boost and that's already the reason why i think it's uh, quite useful and you, sh you should really use it because um, rather than just playing with full boost all the time, which you can obviously already change in game with the unlimited boost in free play option, if you just leave that on, then you always have unlimited boost and you never really think about boost. You can't pick up small pads or big pads and you don't really know how big the hitboxes are if you don't practice it. Of course you will still practice it in game either way, but uh, it's definitely helpful to have it on in, in free play too. And the advantage if you don't want to play with just unlimited boost off as usual, with this recharge you have a lot of more boosts. So you can still practice ball chasing and you will still have enough boost for anything you want to do. Because uh, if you don't have enough boost you can just ch set the rate of boost that you get here higher. So if you've been using this plugin before already, then you will be happy to know that now it will actually save the setting. So previously you had to turn it on anytime you want to use it. And now if you go into free play and then go into free play again, it's still going to be on. So you only have to turn this on or off when you want to actually change it. And when you constantly want to use it, then you can just leave it on. And Another setting that I just added today is the only recharge on ground or wall setting and pretty much very simple. You won't recharge anything during an aerial and as soon as you hit the ground you will still recharge again and same on the ball I think. Anyway, I do really think that this is better for free play than just unlimited boost. So I do recommend everyone should download this and play with it on setting on. But Freeplay isn't the only application of this plugin. You can actually use it in workshop maps and that's really interesting because you can make maps that are usually made for unlimited boost all of a sudden require a limited amount of boost and that can make them more difficult. For example in the dribbling challenge since you don't need to fly here you probably don't want to set the recharge amount too high. Otherwise, it's just the same as infinite boost, but if I set it to like something really low and now I just play this, then I have to be really careful with how I use my boost. Uh, 
and as you can see I already failed this level. One recommendation I can make for this is actually setting up a binding because as you can see right now I could just wait forever here to uh, get my boost to 100 so I have an easier time beating the next level but there is a Bacchus mod console command called boost and then you can call set 100 and that will set the boost straight to 100 or whatever number you want to set it to. And the documentation for this is uh, on the Bacchus mod wiki. I'm going to link to that in the video description. But the important part is that we can bind this to a key if we want to. So all we have to do for that is bind, go to bindings, click add. Then we click on this and set the button that we want. Let's say I want to put this on K. And then I double click on here and I can type in boost set 100 just like this. And now I will have this bound to K and I can basically say I want to start every level with 100 boost again. Not like I needed it for this one, but um, that way I don't have to wait. I can just press a button and I'm going to start again with 100 boost. It's also very much possible to use this plugin in a setting where you have to aerial and you don't have unlimited boost. But in this case, you will probably want a lot more boost than in the dribble challenge case. As you can see with the rate I'm recharging at right now, it's not going to be possible to stay in the air for too long and that's going to make a bunch of levels impossible. For example, already the second level after this. So I'm going to fly right there and show that it's clearly impossible even if I start with 100 boosts. There is absolutely no way you could do this level. But once again I can open the menu and now set the recharge amount to right around 10. So with 10 you can technically stay in the air indefinitely. but. The problem is that you can only stay indefinitely in the air if you keep your car straight up. And obviously when you have to move around in this level, you're not always going to point straight up. And every time you do that, you lose some boost. So if you aren't careful, then you're going to run out of boost with that amount of boost recharge. As you can see here, I used up all my boost and I can make it now, but but if I did it even less efficient, then I probably would have fallen to the ground. Lastly, in a map which is designed for limited boost, like this one, you can actually use the plugin to either make it easier for yourself to complete the levels or more difficult. And that's gonna be dependent completely on what you need based on your skill level. But the interesting part is you will see the slider only goes to zero, but if you use the console and press F6, then you can type boost, recharge, and then you will see all the available commands. The first one's just to turn it on, and the second one sets the amount, the third one is for ground, and the last one is for interval, just like the slider. You can manually set anything you want, and then you can also set negative amounts. So let's say we want to set this to minus two, now every half a second we're going to lose two boosts and let's see if I can still finish this level. I'm certain I'm not going to finish all the hard levels with this setting. Because that's a lot of boost loss and you can already see I overshot that a bit. Okay, I still made it. But it's a whole lot more difficult. And you really have to go fast then because every time, every second you spend in the wrong position, you're just losing boost and boost. But at the same time, you need to be very efficient with your boost. At the very end, I want to show you something for convenience. In case you often want to turn this plugin on or off, you might want to bind it to a key. And the way to do this is through, again, the bindings tab, but the important part is the console command. So let's say I want to bind this to L. And the console command I need right now is called toggle. And this command allows me to toggle between different settings for a CVAR. 
And the CVAR we had is called boost underscore recharge. And the values we want is are zero and one. So that's all you have to type there. You type toggle, then you type the command that you want to change the value of and then type the first value, the second value, and you can even provide more values. But that doesn't make any sense here because you can only turn it on or off. So I'm gonna save this here. And I actually wanna do one more thing because right now if I would use this command, it would work. But if I would use this command and then turn off the game, then it wouldn't save that for the next time that I'm playing. And I wanna make it so that it saves that for next time and we need another command there, so I'm clicking the plus and right here I'm gonna write in there, write config. And what this is gonna do is now that after it has changed the value of boost recharge, it will save the new value of boost recharge. So whenever the mod gets restarted or the game rates restarted, you will still have the same value that you had last time. So now I can change this with L, and right now it's on. If I press L, it's off, and you can see it stops recharging. Um, of course, I have set this to unlimited boost in free play, and if I just reset my car, I will have unlimited boost again. If you have the setting on off, then it's obviously gonna be off anyway. But yeah, all I have to do to turn it back on is press L, and now it's recharging again, and I can quickly turn it off and on, depending on the workshop map, for example, whether it's compatible with this or not. I really hope you find this plugin and this video helpful. If you have any specific settings that you know work for a specific workshop map, for example, please share it in the comments so everyone can use it. And to stay up to date, follow me on Twitter or join my Discord, and I'll see you soon for the next video.